As of today, June 18th, it has been 140 days since my last prolonged fast. And I say prolonged fast because I'm a firm believer in fasting. So I fast every day for about 20 to 24 hours just for personal reasons. If I go on a list or a rant of why I fast and the benefits of fasting, that is its own video. If you don't fast, please look into it. However, today is the day we start my next fast. I actually gotta flip my pancake before we burn. I'm going on a three day fast starting today and I'm cooking my pancakes which are gonna be my last meal. I feel like if this is the last thing I'm gonna eat, it has to be a sweet treat, right? Okay, let me go ahead and eat these pancakes and I'm going to be right back to start the fast. To be completely honest with you, I am stuffed. However, I do wanna take my last bite on camera so I can start the timer. So let me go ahead and do that and then after I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I'm gonna be doing in the video to keep my progress checked. Okay, so this is my plan for this video. I'm going to keep my weight, physique, and thoughts all progressed. And as far as my schedule, I work out a body weight training pretty much every day. I work for about 12 hours a day. I travel. I do a lot of sitting. I do a lot of pretty much everything you can think of. I do on a daily basis, and this is what I'm gonna do with my schedule while I'm on this three-day fast. Not change a single thing. The only thing I'm changing is the, the food intake. No food, three days, best version of Rob coming up, please. If you wanna know why I fast, watch my seven day fast video. There's a section in there on why I fast if you want to know my reasoning. However, I see y'all in a second because we're gonna go inside and check my physique and how much I weigh. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the physique check. Let's see what this stomach is looking like after some pancakes. <laughs> Okay, let's see how much I weigh. How much do you think I weigh? Let's find out. Let's find out. Coming in at 185 pounds. Okay. Let's see what 24 hours is gonna to do to that. I'll see you all in about 24. Today is June 19th, it is 9.40, so we are on hour 27 of my fast. And I have to say, I feel no major side effects. I normally fast about 20 to 24 hours a day anyway, so we are pretty much on par for what my body's used to. I did fail to mention actually in the beginning of this video that this is a water fast. So I'm fasting with water only. I am allowed to drink water, however, nothing else, no coffee, no juice, and of course, no food. So let's go see how much I weigh after 27 hours of no food, and let's see what my body looks like. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and weigh myself first. Give yourself an estimate. And if you guess correct, give yourself a dollar. Coming in at 178 pounds. That is not bad for 27 hours of no food, right? If you want a weight loss program, we call it fasting. Now let's go see if I can prop my camera up properly, what my body looks like. Move out my way. Okay. 
okay and after 27 hours we've lost about seven pounds my schedule today was pretty jam-packed I did my workout this morning had a couple shoots right after I even learned a little dance this afternoon and I've pretty much been editing ever since so we've been doing our normal routine with not a single lack of energy I feel better than ever however we're gonna see how this sleep goes I know it's gonna be phenomenal however you know habitual patterns of eating every single day and not doing it may cause a little disruption in my sleep so it's only one way to find out let's go to sleep and find out i'll see y'all tomorrow with my opinions of how my sleep went bye okay it is june 20th at 8 30 p.m we have accomplished 50 hours of no food meaning we only have 22 hours left in this fast and i have to say my sleep last night was pretty phenomenal i had no major side effects as far as falling asleep or waking up in the middle of the night or anything i actually felt great i did feel a slight bit of tiredness today however most of my schedule was the same i did take a quick nap in the middle of the day because i was just exhausted but i feel as though that was just from the productive day i had yesterday however everything else on the day as of today felt great I just literally came from the gym balling for two hours so I still have some type of energy in me let's go see what my body looks like and how much I weigh after 50 hours of no food Okay, now let's see how much I weigh. Again, $2 this time if you get it right. Guess. Weighing in at 174 pounds after 50 hours of no food. It's not too bad. Okay, and just like that, after 50 hours, I have lost over 10 pounds. In just 50 hours, a little over two days, 10 pounds. Name a better Weight Watcher program. You can't. <laughs> I'm super excited, honestly, to see what my body looks like tomorrow when the fast is over. There's only one way to find out. Another 22 hours to go, and we'll find out. I'll see you all in 22 hours. Okay, and just like that, three days has officially been accomplished with no food in my body. We have crossed over the 72-hour mark today, June 21st at 6.45. And I have to say, setting a goal for yourself, no matter how big or small, is such a vital factor in your life. If we want to set goals that are challenging enough, however, still a goal we can accomplish. Once we start to slowly accomplish goals after goal after goal, the goals get higher and we begin become stronger to be able to achieve higher goals and that's how you really progress in life so no matter if it's a seven day fast a three day fast or even a 16 hour fast celebrate your small wins because i guarantee you they will get bigger and bigger over time okay let's go see what my physique looks like and how much i weigh Okay, let's see how much I weigh. You have to guess. If you get it right and you're not lying, tell me in the comments. I might have a dollar for you. <laughs> Coming in at 173 pounds. So it looks like the first 24 to 35 hours is a lot of food digestion. And after that, it starts to target body fat, which I don't have much of. So I can see why I didn't lose too much weight from yesterday to today. After 72 hours of no food, what would be the first thing you put in your body? For me, Good old banana. <laughs> 
started the same, ended the same. It's the only way to go. I feel as though fruit would be the most logical choice, you know, if I could get it open. 72 hours, no food. Here we go. Time to break my fast. My computer went off. It's a little ripe. I'm more of a sweet banana type of guy. But I love bananas, so I got nothing to complain about. I also want to say I love human psychology because I'm not hungry. I'm genuinely not hungry. The only side effect I will say I have is I'm used to the abundant amount of energy you have from eating every day. So it's more of a mental battle that you have to fight that it's just a discomfort feeling from not feeling the same. So it's not that I'm hungry or dehydrated, it's just I don't feel the same, which could be led to believe that I'm hungry or I'm at a lack of energy. It's just a mental battle, and it's always like that with us humans. It's so funny. However, I'll see you all for my next fasting video because I promise you it's coming sooner than you think. Peace. Thank you for spending your time here with me today.